All right, so welcome. So for this video, I'm going to be unboxing Tiny Towns Fortune. This is uh, from AEG Games. And uh, obviously this is the expansion, uh, the first expansion that came out for Tiny Towns last year. And so, uh, and I got this one obviously last because I've got villagers first. Uh, so let's uh, see what's inside this one. Um, and since I enjoy Tiny Towns a lot, having some extra stuff to, to go along with uh, this expansion should be interesting nonetheless. So let's see what we got in here. Obviously the little rule book for the rules. Obviously the information on how the cards work. Cool. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, that's right. This comes with treasure chests. So we get these little treasure chests to put together. So that's really cool. Okay. Cool. Little treasure chests. Um All right. What else we got? We got coins and some more cubes. Obviously. Let's take a look at some of the coins cuz the cubes are basically uh if you've seen the the cubes, if you've seen the real uh the base game or the core game of uh Tiny towns, you know what the cubes are and what they're for. But here we have the coins. Really cool. Uh, you know, same uh, material as the cubes are. So that's nice. So that's the that's the coins in the game. Pretty cool. And then obviously we've got another score pad. So I don't think I have to worry about running out of uh, material for score pad. And remember, it's going to have uh, the points you're going to get for the coins that you have at the end of the game and stuff like that, which is why they had a whole nother uh, pad for the score pad because of this. So obviously, if you're going to play with this expansion, you're going to you're going to write on this particular pad here, and you can save your original pad if you still have pages for your original pad for when you only play with the core game, obviously. And then here is obviously the cards. And so let's open them up, and they do, they do not take long to open like usual, thankfully. So let's see what's, what's in this expansion as far as cards are concerned. So uh, let's bring the camera nice and close. So I don't have to, so you guys can see the cards better. Okay, so first one is Root Cellar. And so this is a, another version of the farm. Cool. And here's another, uh, uh, obviously, uh, another one uh, for the farm. Uh, Tith Barn. And then this one is for that one, Oddity Shop. And then we have, then we have Museum. And then obviously these are the monuments, Shrine of the Wind Seed, Prism, the Prism Forge, the Petal Promenade, Southern Semaphore, Katarina's Grotto, and there's a better, uh, better look on the artwork on that one. The Treasury of Okaver, Okaver maybe. Estival Festival. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, I like this one. Hollow Hill. I don't know why I like this one, but I like this one. Just the artwork is really nice on it. And we have Mason's Guild. 
And then uh, Aeroflage Era Flag Vineyard or Flag Vineyard, Aeroflag Vineyard. I'm not sure how that print, pretend. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And there's that one. And then we have another one for this for this uh, building, and that's the schoolhouse. Cool. And we have Gambler's Den. Very cool. And Cathedral. And uh, Parson Parsonage. Parsonage? Parsonage. Pars I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but uh, I like that one. I do like that one. That's kind of cool. And then we've got more. We've got the jeweler for this building. Okay, that's cool. And a tea house. <laughs> I like that one. Although I don't know why they. Um, I guess. Uh, I guess. Uh, I guess it makes sense because I think the bakery is with this building. I think so. Tea house. I guess so. I guess that works with that building. And then we've got the mine. Nice. I like this one. The mine. When constructed, you get a coin. I like that. I like that. That's really cool. The mine for that particular building. I like that. And then a statue. I think this is the last one. The statue. Okay, yeah, that's all of them. So that's all of the cards, obviously. Um, I don't know exactly how to set this up, but... Um, I'm not sure if the coins go in here. I don't think it's bendable, so I don't think it's bendable. I I would imagine it's probably not. There is it? Is it bendable? Let's see. The rule book would say if it was bendable. I don't think it is though. Because when I first saw them, I thought maybe you could, um put them together and make them seem like an actual treasure chest. But I don't think that's the case because there's no uh, information on uh, putting them together. So that means that that's not the case, I don't think. So anyways, that's, um, that's everything that's in this expansion. So uh, if you guys liked it as much as I did, because I liked it a lot, that's for sure. Uh, don't, don't hesitate to leave a like on this video. And uh, I'll see you guys again next time.